everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz, and today I want to bring you a special treat, um, a look at a really pretty, not so practical, but just absolutely gorgeous style by Henry Margot, and this is Harper. Um, this is the color 88H, so this is big, sexy, Texas hair, over the top, gorgeous. It's not going to be an everyday style for me, but boy, I can imagine certain occasions where I'm just absolutely going to love it. Um, I might want to be some eye candy for my husband this weekend. <laughs> I just, it just has that Pamela Lee Anderson, doesn't it? Like Babe Watch is what he calls it, Babe Watch. Um, so it's just sexy and gorgeous. Um, it's just a bit too heavy and too fussy for me for an everyday style. Um, it weighs about 4.7 ounces, so that's really getting up there. But for these cold weather months coming up, no problem. And for holiday hair, this is boom. This is it. So I think you're really going to love it for that reason. So let's take a look at the color, that 88H is a, a strawberry blonde, a light strawberry blonde base color, but then it has all of these platinum highlights. And then if you can tell, it also brings that into platinum tips. And this color is just spectacular on this style because it really brings out all of this beachy wave texture. So this is one of those very long beachy wave wigs that, um, so if you like this boho beachy wave on a shorter style, I think you're really going to like it on a longer style because it'll just give you mounds and mounds of updo options and really cute styling techniques. So I think you're going to love it. So let's go ahead and do a spin. So let's talk some specs on this big hair. All right, so we have about a six and a half inch bang, some layering in there, but overall about 18 inches. Features a temple to temple, lace front, and then it's open cap throughout. One thing you're gonna wanna know about this style is that it is loaded. I mean loaded with permatease. There's not one speck of this cap that doesn't have permatease in it. Um, it's very thick throughout the top and the crown. Uh, thick pillowy permatease all over the back of the ear, on the sides, and at the nape. So that's going to keep your style lifted and going. Um, if you like big hair, it's going to stay big because of all that permatease. Um, when you first get it, the permatease is going to show through here at the part. So like, like I always like to do, just kind of get in there with a pick, a wide tooth comb, and just separate the fibers from the permatease. It'll lift it above the permatease, and so therefore will probably obscure it quite a bit. Now the lace front is really well done. Let's take a look at that. I love Henry Marcus lace fronts. In every single style that I've had, from Henry, Henry Margot has been loaded with permatease. So I just think that brand uh, just really loves their permatease. Um, even on the Kendall and the Peyton, lots and lots of permatease. I'd rather have permatease than a flat top. That's just me. Um, but I think this is so flattering. It can be so flattering on lots of different face shapes. So this is definitely one for fall and winter that if you're looking to go a little bit longer but keep that boho beach wave i think you're absolutely going to love this one all right so let's take a quick look at the inside of the cap uh, we'll do a couple of comparisons maybe at least one that i can think of and then i should uh, give you some styling inspiration for you to take take away from this review so i'm just really feeling this toka I love toka, 
by Tony of Beverly and the color here is Tangerine Twist. I love it for all of its volume and curl. Um, now Toka's curl is going to be a little bit more defined than the uh, kind of deconstructed wave of uh, Harper here. Those curls are just a little bit more defined but it still gives me that big volume that I want and I'm looking for and that texture is just gorgeous. Um, it weighs a little bit less than Harper because what you will find is even though it has all this volume and it, it doesn't even have a lace front, this is just a, like an open cap with lots of, of volume, um, it does not have as much permatease as Harper. Harper has a lot more permatease than Toka, if you can imagine. Um, the fibers are more feathery and fine than Harper and they both have fairly thick densities it's just that the Toka's fibers are a lot more fine and denier and Toka's not going to be quite as long as Harper either You've probably seen this toka in a few of my other reviews and it's just gorgeous. I love it. All right, so let's take a look at the inside of the cap for Harper. It literally feels like I'm putting on a baseball mitt because of all that permatease. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. So uh, what I do love about it though is the temple to temple hand tied lace front. And that lace front is highly contoured, very realistic. It goes about an inch to an inch and a half back into the style. And then it's lined in seam on the seam here with velvet. It has velvet ear taps that are bendable with uh, some very sturdy stays, wire stays in there. And then you have this beautiful scalloped extended nape that's given you a lot of great comfort. And the nape has some stays in there as well. So you can see where I've cinched it in a little bit there. Um, that's to accommodate my petite average circumference. I think that this cap is pretty true to average. It has quite a bit of stretch. So I think you could probably get away with it if you were average large. Lots of permatees everywhere. I mean, it's so thick in there that I can't even push my finger through the web. <laughs> So yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, you can even see the permatease sticking out from the nape there. All right, so permatease isn't a bad thing. You just have to know when it's there and how to use it to your advantage. So here's an up close look. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all that beachy wave and those platinum tips just sets off this curl. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm always going to love my blondes. Even though I'm experimenting with some auburns and some brunettes, and I like them all, I really do, I just really identify with blonde. And so this is one of my favorite blondes. And one of my other favorite blondes, let me just throw this in here real quick. This is John Renault's January, and January is in the color 27T613F, which is a similar to, very similar in fact, to this 88H in Henry Margot. So they both feature a, a, a strawberry, caramely, light base color, and then some platinum highlights that just make it really creamy and set off the texture. both gorgeous. All right, I'll go ahead and change back into Harper here so we can take a look at some styling inspiration. So I'm back. My name is Pam. Oh, I mean Tass. <laughs> Just can't get over. She's such Pamela Lee Anderson hair, like back from the, the 80s and stuff. So, uh, Lots to work with here, everybody. Let's take a look 
at some options. So I think this will give you some amazing updos. Let's do a, a quick a quick little updo here. I think I'll just do a basic twist. Let's see what that looks like. You can use the wefts to uh, secure your style. Don't be afraid to do that. And this texture is going to be gorgeous with this. So obviously if I was going out to a special party or something, I would take much more time uh, on this styling technique. But I just want to give you an idea and some inspiration to do some updos with the style. And as you're thinking about styles that you're going to wear to holiday parties and functions, this might be on your list. all the wefts are hidden. Um, let's see another way we can do this is just bring more off of the face. this one. That just kind of, of a low chignon. Let's do that. Let's pull it back. Get as much hair in there as we can. Pull it back. And I would be using different tools, I think, uh, to secure it so that you can actually see the bun a lot better. with all this texture and curl, those low ponies. Looks so spectacular. Styling galore. If you really wanted to Play it. the beautiful lace front and maybe give a little more volume on the top. You might consider taking it off of the face completely up into something like that. And why not? It's big hair. Make it bigger. <laughs> All right. So 
you can switch up the part on this if you wanted to go with the right part. Um, sometimes when you switch the part up a little bit, you're going to create a lot more volume. So if you are in the middle of your evening and you just want to go into the powder room and do something different, try switching that part just a tad and it'll give you some extra lift and volume. All right, so this has been a review of Harper by Henry Margu in the color 88H. Big, sexy hair. Everybody have a great day.